Hi guys, James in Vegas here, and here is the long overdue update of my Murphy bed. Now bear with me, this has been a very long journey, and it's not even complete because I haven't finished painting it, I haven't put the edge work detail on it, but it is a fully functioned Murphy bed, and I've been sleeping on it for the last couple of months. The problem I had with the video is, I had cataracts develop really bad. I could barely even see my editing software. I could barely even see the camera that I'm looking at right now. Needless to say, here it is now. Murphy bed's over here. So let's get going. As you can see, I have a beautiful fireplace on my TV. <laughs> uh, mounted the TV on the side here just so I can actually watch TV while I'm in bed. Uh, it does move back and that is one of the things I'll show you once I uh, pull the Murphy bed down. You see I've got a coffee table here uh, that doesn't have to move the only thing that has to move are the things that are on the coffee table uh, because when I pull the Murphy bed down it'll rest right on top of it or over it actually it doesn't actually touch it uh, I've got the legs for that so let me go ahead and move this out of the way before I forget and then I'll move my television fireplace out of the way now you see I left the legs on um, I don't have retractable or uh, folding legs or anything like that uh, just because I didn't really want to waste the time on the design I decided to leave these on these are actually made out of gas pipe uh, one inch gas pipe uh, because they're so high you know I, I have the bed elevated above six 17 inches to go above the coffee table so the legs are pretty long and the mix which makes the bed high so since they're so far up, no, no one's gonna get poked in the eye, I'm not gonna hit in the head, nothing like that. So I decided to leave them on instead of unscrewing them and screwing them back on. So let's go ahead and verify that the TV's out of the way, there's nothing on the coffee table. Let's just move it down. It's pretty light until about right here, and it gets a little heavy, but it's not too bad. Um, as you see, I have the blankets already on the bed. They're a little wrinkled, because you know I just got up not too long ago. Uh, the, um, pillows are underneath and all I do is I basically just tuck the blankets in tight to hold the pillows in place. Over in the corners you'll see there's two gas struts the type that for your like a hatchback vehicle that lifts up the, the hatchback uh, or a tunnel cover on a pickup truck. I've got two of those they're rated 100 pounds each and then for the swivels for the swivel point I have um, two boat seat swivels. So those actually work out really well. Uh, again, once I lay them down, I just undo the bed. I'm not going to undo the bed, but I just undo the bed. I reach over, pull the TV back, and I'm able to watch TV in bed. I still have access to my couch. I turn my fan off up there because it makes too much noise while I'm making a video, but I usually have my fan on all the time because it gets a little stuffy in here. Uh, but yeah, that's it right there when I'm ready to to uh, put it back up and actually turn this back into a living room. I just spin the TV around, make the bed, make sure the, mat, the pillows are tight underneath the uh, blankets so they don't fall, make sure the blankets are tucked in all the way along so it doesn't fall down. And then I just lift it up. It is a little heavy at this point, but once I get it up a few inches, then it takes over and the, the struts take over and it works out well. So right now it's, I mean, it's a little heavy, but it's not bad. And you can hear it like kind of latch into place. It's not really a latch, it's just the struts are pushing really hard at this point, and it just holds it up in place. I have a stopper in the back that prevents it from going too far in. Then I just move my TV back around. My fireplace today. And I grab my beautiful house plant. Set that back on the table, and there it is, folks. Going to be putting out more videos. I've got some more ideas of other videos coming up for my apartment. It's a 175 square foot micro studio. Uh, it is Thanksgiving week coming up, and I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.